Kapla, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Star Trek Online. So, we are, well, we started, I should say, in the last episode, the Davidian featured episode series, and we started it with Skirmish. And uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, again, pretty much what you get on the Federation side, and now it's time to continue the Davidian FE series. Um, it's one of my favorites. Right up there with the Breen. I think the Breen is maybe a, a little bit better, but then this one is just it's very close. It's right there. Um, so it's time to do Spin the Wheel. And uh, so now we get to see why the Klingons are involved in this. Um, let's see. Spin the Wheel. A deep cover intelligence operative on Drozana Station needs your help. Dabo. So came in again for our um, contact and he says I need your assistance with a rather delicate situation we have an intelligence operative undercover at Jerzana her astute observations has given us the edge in several critical engagements in the neutral zone 20 hours ago this operative activated an emergency subspace beacon Z uh, Zamara would only contact me in this manner if she was about to be discovered by the enemy or her life was in danger. I am understandably concerned. I need you to go to Drazana, find Zamara, and assist her. Take her to safety if you have to, but don't blow her cover. If you go in there, weapons blazing, you may get her killed. I've accessed your logs. It's been quite some time since you've had some shore leave. I suggest you visit Drozana for some downtime. Ha ha ha. Go to Drozana Station, which is located in the Dronachi sector of the Eda Aerodyne sector block to respond to request for assistance from an undercover intelligence operator. Now, if you recognize that name Zamar Zamara, Zamara, sh that's the same contact that we had to also find on the Federation side. Um, I, and under, I don't, I, I can't recall if she was an undercover operative on the Federation side or um, if she was just basically a rogue contact that we know has information. But at least from the KDF perspective, I guess she is a, an operative that works for the KDF, and she is on Drazana, and we have to meet her. Basically the exact same premise for the Federation. We have to meet Zamara and get information from her. And then at the end we get that awesome Synchronic Proton Distortion Prototype Assault Rifle, or what everyone in the game calls it, the Ghostbuster Gun. So this is the mission that provides that. Um, there's not any combat really in this mission, it's pretty much just a puzzle-y type thing. And uh, then we get our information and then the mission's over. So if you're looking for combat, this is not the mission for that. Okay, let's go to Drozana, and which is down here, as we're already in Ida Aridani from our last mission. And let's see if there's skill points I haven't spent. Of course there are. Do that. Awesome. Alright. <coughs> so, pretty much the same storyline here. Yes, we have to meet Zamara at the Drazana station. Get information and figure out what's going on. She apparently has something to tell us. But before we do that, we're going to have to help a Ferengi, if you recall. So, Drazana is pretty much an open spaceport for both KDF and Federation. Um, so, both factions can come here and spend time here. And, um, it's cross-faction, so no matter what side you're on, Drozana Station is a station that both Federation and KDF are welcome to come to at the same time. <laughs> so yes, you can beam down and see Klingons there, or you can beam down as, as a Klingon and see Federation officers there. It is a live social zone for both factions. So that's pretty cool. For example, here's some Federation people right there. Here's a Kling. Here's a Klingon side. So you got both sides here at the same time. Very, very cool. 
Alright, we have to question Balan, which is a Ferengi. Now, we have to answer his questions um, correctly. We have to answer without making him angry. Otherwise, we fail the mission and we have to start all over again. So, first thing to do is, although I'm not sure on the KDF side, maybe you can be a little harsher. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Um, question Balan. Welcome to Drizana Station, the home of the finest libations and pleasures this side of Rick's. Care to hear about today's specials? Um, no, I'm looking for someone. Aren't we all? Me, I want a leggy Vulcan with a liberal attitude towards interspecies relations. So, are you looking for someone in particular or just some company? Her name is Zamara, do you know her? Oh yeah, I know Zamara. Maybe she's been here recently and maybe she hasn't. My mind is kind of hazy. Now, Klingon would not say I humbly beg of you to please reveal Zamara's whereabouts to me. No, a Klingon would not say that. Perhaps we could come to some sort of arrangement. Now that's the answer on the Federation side. It, it is imperative that I find Zamara. You need to tell me what you know. I'm afraid if I hit this option, which is probably what a KDF character would say, I'm afraid if I hit this, the mission will fail. It might be different on the KDF side than the Federation, where it doesn't fail. But I know if you hit this option on the Federation side, it, it absolutely fails. This is the option. So I'm not sure, though, as a KDF officer, uh, what, what, what works best, to be honest with you. Maybe you can hit this option. But I know for sure this option works, at least on the Federation side. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with it. Yeah, I'm sure we can. In fact, I feel my memory clearing up already. I'll tell you what. I know you Empire types don't think throwing around large sums of Latinum is honorable. But, but what you do have are skills and a willingness to get your hands dirty. And that's what I need right now. Our replicators are on the fritz. Maybe it's the whole power system because the lights are going wonky too. But a little blue mood lighting isn't as big a problem for me as unfilled drink orders. Use the turbo lift to get to the cargo bay and get my replicators working. By the time you're done, I'm sure I will have remembered where I last saw Zamara. Alright, use the turbo lift to go to the cargo bay and scan the station's replicators. So basically, we are now doing the same thing that the Federation side does, um, where you have to um, fix the replicators and do that whole thing. So. Same thing. Basically, we just go this way into the cargo bay. It's that easy. Alright, now. Run diagnostic on station replicators. This is that puzzle where you have to go to each station in the right order in order for the puzzle to succeed. First thing to do is to scan the replicators. Run diagnostic. They're offline. Um, then we need to run diagnostic on electroplasma network. Blah, blah, blah. Um, then you can read about the other stuff. The following systems are available for this process. Blah, blah, blah. Hell engineering team. Basically just talk to everyone. Now we have to scan first all of everything. So here's gravity controls, scan gravity controls. That's one of eight. Just go to each station and scan it first. That's two of eight. That's three of eight. If you actually read the dialogues, it tells you what the stations are there for. It will help you solve the puzzle. Even this little thing over here, we need to scan burned out power couplings. That makes uh, four of eight. So don't forget that little thing. And then we come over here and this panel needs to be scanned. That'll make five of eight. And then over here there is a little thing that needs to be scanned. And that makes six of eight. And then this will make seven of eight. And then the last one we can scan is back at the uh, replicators. Even though we've already scanned it, apparently we have to scan it twice. 
Okay, now that that's done, now we need to realign the station power flow. So, if you have not done this mission before, um, reading all those dialogues when you scan each system will help. Also, um, going to the engineering report, this will really help you. There's a lot of information here, as you can see. I'm not going to go through all of it, but... If you click on each thing and read about it, it will help you figure out how you need to align everything. Um, and then reading the diagnostic result as well. All of that will help you figure things out. Now, I have done this about a billion times, and I often forget how to do this, but I think, I've, I, think I remember right now what the order is. So let's try it. So this is a spoiler, I guess, if you if you want to figure it out yourself. Um, I guess you can do that. Otherwise, I'll, I'm just going to give you the answer right now. But I, I think the first thing we have to scan is the replicators. Or reroute... The first thing we have to do is reroute power to the replicators, I should say. First transfer successful. And then... Um, the environmental controls. We actually skip hollow suites and gravity. We go to environmental controls next, which is on the other side. Reroute power to environmental. Yep, that was successful. That's two. Let's see, we need to go to. Um, yeah, now we go back to here. Gravity controls. So we go replicators, environmental. And then over here to gravity control. Yep, that was successful. And then, if I recall, we have we have to go all the way to this back end, all the way to the back. We hit those three, and then we go to the back end to the defense grid. Yep, that was successful. And then we have to hop all the way back to environmental. I just remember that it's always the one that I come up to first when I come back from the very back of the room. That's environmental, and then the last one is to hit the replicators again. You start with the replicator and you end with the replicator. We avoid hollow suites altogether. Reroute power. There we go. Station replicators online. That was awesome. So that's the order. It's kind of like bang, 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 bang. And you got it. That's it. That's all there is to it. Seems complicated at first, but it's actually really, really easy. Now we go back to Balan. Um, report that we have fixed the replicators. Your replicators are working. And he says they are, and I am exceedingly pleased by your generous offer to repair them for no compensation. I can't let you go away empty-handed, though. How about I give you a 15% discount on drinks? We had a deal. The replicators for information about Samara. Fine, a deal's a deal, right? Never let it be said that I'll cheat a value customer like yourself. Personally, I don't know why you're so interested in her. She's a looker, but just try to... Just tried talking to her. She's more paranoid than, a, than an obsidian order agent in a room full of Tal Shiar. Now that's funny. Zamara usually hangs out near the Dabo tables. Keep an eye out for a looker wearing purple. Can't miss her. So yeah, it's the same woman that we meet on the Federation side. So let's go to the Dabo room. And here's Zamara. Exact same person. Talk to her. Don't worry, the table isn't rigged anymore. She says, "Be careful. They're watching." Boy, she's got some funky eyes. All right, continue. Um, they who? Shh, keep your voice down. I'm being watched. I've seen too many familiar faces in the crowd, and they are shadows, watchers in the dark. I see them out of the corner of my eye when I think when they think I'm not looking, but I'm always looking. When the lights change, they are there. I was sent to help you. You weren't sent to help me. You were sent to watch me. K-Men needs me to help feeding information to Klingon intelligence. People come here and they that drink and they talk. Death. It's amazing the bits of information you can pick up around a Dabo table. Everything, even the smallest detail, is important. Captain Gerard, Gerard 
was in here last week. He ordered blood wine, an entire bottle of the 2309 vintage, to be exact. That business with the House of Torg must have upset him more than we knew. When Gerard's happy, he drinks Warnog. Okay. Tell me more about what happened with the House of Torg. Of course, remember, we um, uh, just did that whole thing. If you do not know this story, then perhaps you should spend less time drinking and more time paying attention to the games between the Great House of Kornos. The Klingons fight more than one war, my friend. The battles among the houses will shape the Empire more than the battles against Starfleet. But you seem to be a pleasant, if not, so I will tell you what happened. Um, so now we get a little detail. I didn't know this was here. We get a little detail about uh, Torg's house, um, apparently. Torg was on the High Council when he made a play to destroy the house of Martok. He was partially successful. Invents on Drax is dead. The house... Well, yeah, that's because of me. I did all that. But Martok's wood was wise. Her son Drax is far away from the home world fighting Starfleet. So Lady Sorella come for warriors from her the house. Wheel. They exposed Torg's treachery and Jim Pock was forced. Yeah, I did that. Me. Hello, you're looking at the person who made all that happen. <laughs> as to why that would... Uh, may... As... As to why that would may may Gerard unhappy. Uh, grammar alert. Torg raised Gerard after his mother died. Now he is an outcast and his house has fallen. Gerard cannot speak to him without losing his own honor. I cannot so believe a warrior such as yourself does not know these things. Uh, I'm, I know these things. I did it. Alright, what can you help me with? Find out who is watching me. I'm not safe here. Starfleet Intelligence is looking for me. They know someone has been feeding intelligence to the Empire. The ghosts are watching. Their eyes are hungry. Yesterday they surrounded a drunken Nausicaan. Now he's dead. They will find me when the blue light shines, and then I'll disappear. I know what the ghosts are. Cause I do. <laughs> How could you know that? You may think you know. You may even have readings in your tricorder that you think are right. But you don't know. How could you know? I'm here every day. They watch me and I watch them. Lady, you are crazy. I know. Trust me, I know. I can take you someplace safe, in fact. No, they're everywhere. They're watching. You've been here too long. Someone will notice that we're together. Go do something else. Play Dabo. <laughs> I'll contact you when I'm ready, when it's safe. Play Dabo and wait for tomorrow's signal. <laughs> yeah, okay, lady. Crazy. So we just gotta spin the wheel and win. Yeah, let's play a little dabo then. I don't know if I don't know if I'll win, but hey, you know. I'll just put one hundred credits in the bet. Ooh, place bet. One second left. <laughs> Davo! Hey, I won. Oh, I didn't win. What? You won. Oh. I won 15 gold press latinum and 20 gold press latinum. And then on that other one, I didn't win any. So I, I won some. So there we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Return to Zamara. So all you gotta do is basically play one round. Then you go back to Zamara. Be careful, they're watching. Are you ready to talk now? You don't need to worry about me. I'm going to leave this place to the ghosts. They seem to belong here more than we do. I booked passage on a ship. You don't need to know which one. Just tell Cayman that he'll be uh, getting his intel one way or another. Good luck, the master. You are going to need it. Alright, Captain, there were Davidians in the Donatu system. Now you found evidence of them again on Drozana Station. Obviously, they're using the neutral zone as some, some, some sort of hunting ground. We cannot allow these creatures to feed on warriors of the Empire. I've requested sensor data from ships closest to the comet's current location for analysis, but that is only half of our problem. If properties of the comet are somehow easing the Davidians' entry into this area of space, we need weapons capable of destroying them. Recommendations? The closest research lab is on Gonada's station. I recommend that we consult with the team there. Consult with research lead Beeller oh, on Gonada station. Beeller Be Be can be found on the main room of the station. Return to ship. So basically, this is the point on the Federation side where you would head to K7 the space station and on K7 you would turn in your computer data and uh, get your synchronic gun 
Uh, on the uh, KDS side, obviously they can't go to K7, so they have their own station, the Granada Space Station. So it's the same thing, just a different space station. We're going to fly there and turn in our data and get our Ghostbuster gun, which we will use for the mission. So way down here in this little corner is the Ganada system. So uh, it'll be interesting to read here how the Klingons came upon this web, uh, creating this weapon, just like the Federation side did. I mean, it's kind of, I don't know, odd to me that the Federation would develop this weapon. Of course, the Federation has had more contact with the Davidians, so it makes sense that the Federation would uh, have developed this weapon. But how would the Klingons have developed it? The only way I can see is that they had stolen the information or somebody had leaked to them the plans for this weapon and um, how to build it and what it is and what it fights against because as far as I know Klingons have not encountered the Davidians. So it'll be interesting to read here how it really happens but that's my guess that's the only thing that makes sense at least yep I like this series it's pretty fun uh, right up there with the Breen I would say um, the only thing is is this mission right here I don't really see a need for it it's just a lot of talking and rerouting power to replicators and talking and then getting your Ghostbuster gun there's really no other point to this mission. It's just to get the weapon. So, I don't really... I think Spin the Wheel might have been maybe a little bit of, uh, well, time wasted, maybe, on the mission. I don't know. Alright, let's go to the system. And this is the Klingon outpost similar to K-7. This is uh, well, at least their equivalent of K-7. Dock at the space station. And we need to just go back basically out here to the main floor and there are contacts and things you can do here. So this is a place to visit if you're on the KDF side and want to uh, explore a new place. Come to uh, the Godada space station. That is Commander Turg. We need to find research lead Baeller. There she is. Consult research lead. Came in, told me to expect you. Tell me about yourself. Uh, my mother was a servant who served the house of Tagore before it fell. I have no idea what my father was. Blah, blah, blah. So that tells you a little bit about her. How do you know Kim in? His friends in many places. I first met him when I was a warrior on the IKS Zetmer. So that tells you just a little bit of background on her. How can you trust someone from Klingon Intelligence? Ha, huh, you sound like my mate. She's always worried that one day I'll be exposed as some sort of spy. So there's a lesbian Klingon, I guess. I'm sure that there are Klingon intelligence operatives out there who are as slippery as a Taka eel. Alright. Oh, well, there's a Romulan. Or somebody that made themselves look like a Romulan. That is pretty good. That is not a bad character creation for a Romulan, I gotta say. If that's meant to be a Romulan, could be a Vulcan. Could be a Romulan, could be a Vulcan. I'm gonna go with Romulan. Alright, I found evidence of Davidians in the neutral zone. I know, Command has been keeping me informed. I have an item that might help. It's a prototype weapon that was found on the USS DeWitt. Ah, so there we go. That explains how they got a hold of this weapon. It was a prototype that they found on a Federation starship. I will need to make some modifications to make it useful against Davidians, but that's nothing that I can't handle. The weapon is called a Synchronic Distortion Prototype Rifle. If my changes work, the weapon's secondary effect will be devastating against phase-shifted Davidians. I'll send the finished weapon on to K-Min when I'm done. 
Fight well, the Masters of the Vidians have no honor, and they think of nothing but their own hunger. You have a mighty battle ahead of you. Continue. So that's basically it. Um, Captain, we've done what we can for Zamera. We have the information we need about the Davidians, and Baeller is working on a, on a weapon we can use to fight them. I suggest that we report back to K-Man and see what he has to say. I am still wary of Klingon intelligence, but K-Man has given us no reason not to trust him yet. Are you ready to leave the system now? Report to K-Man. Food unlocked. You can now purchase Comet Cocktails at Drozana Station. And Comet Cocktails are what is needed to create Triolic Tribbles. So if you want to create a Triolic Tribble, get yourself some Comet Cocktails and uh, some Tribbles. Put them in your inventory and BAM! Hours later you will have Triolic Tribbles. Little uh, secret there on both Federation and Klingon side. Alright, so basically now we can leave this system and that completes our mission. That's basically it. Uh, no, don't dock. So we will turn this in. Zamara has always had an excessive imagination. Flight, uh, flighty, as the humans might say, or Okay. Still, if she is safe and willing to continue to work for the Empire, you've done well. I am more concerned about these ghosts, she mentioned. You already found evidence of Davidians in the neutral zone. They could be at Drozana Station as well. According to Zamera, one Klingon has already died. No more will fall on my watch. But Eller sent me a weapon that might be of use to you. Use it well. And we get our Synchronic Proton Distortion Rifle. I love that gun. So, Congratulations, Commander! Thank you, Commander. So, that's awesome. Um, so, let's look at our weapon here. And, um, a Batleth is not going to be useful against the Davidians. That is for sure. Move, you go up. Engage. Move. Do something. Fine. Stay there. Alright. Then we will take you and put you there. So now we have access to the uh, gun when we do the missions that deal with the Davidians. We are ready to go on that. Awesomeness. And this was my subspace field modulator, which I did not assign a place for it. Ah, oh, let's just put it right there for now, why not? And uh, that has a nice effect. Check that out, makes our ship kind of see through. Pretty cool, huh? I like that. Okay, anyway. We have leveled up to Commander 27. And, in the next mission, we will do What Lies Beneath which is a ground um, mission and so is everything old is new and the night of the comet has a little bit of space mostly these are ground missions someone had asked me if I was going to upgrade to another commander ship to show you guys something different than this well I want to but there's really no reason right this second to because these next few missions are all ground based and they don't really deal with space so we won't really be using our ship. We are just going to be on the ground these next few missions. And we're already 27. We're so close to Captain. Um, so maybe I'll do it for Night of the Comet, but these next few missions are all ground, so there's just not going to be a chance to show our new ship. But before I... Even when I hit Captain, I can still get the commander ship, so it's not like I can't ever not get it. I can still get it even at captain and show you that and then upgrade to the captain level ship after that just so you can see it maybe it may even be just one episode that I do one uh, episode that just basically up uh, we, we put the ship on and we maybe do a few deep space encounters with it and I'll show you what it's like and that's probably about it because it looks like we're not going to really have a chance to use it at the commander level we're already at 27 
these next few missions are all ground based and they're just going to level us up probably to captain so we're not even going to have a chance so that's just the way it turned out I didn't know that was going to happen like that but with the way uh, leveling is in the game now it just goes so so fast you're not at a rank for very long and that's a shame but I digress alright so that was uh, spin the wheel I hope you all enjoyed that and get ready for the next one I will see you all then <laughs>